Watching KHQA this morning. It's your news now. At 514, time to check in with Kristen Aguirre, who is out and about in Quincy this morning. Yeah, Kristen, what are you up to? Well, I am getting ready to get my ice skate on. I have not done this since I was 12 years old. I'm here at Clad Animals Park, and I'm going to get ready to get out on the rink. But it's not your average rink. Coming up later in the show, we are going to speak with owners from River Skate, and they're going to tell us why this rink is so unique. I think that's mm -hmm. the time to go. 5.15 yes. in the morning. Nobody It'll say there. it's really cool. It's cool really in more ways cool. than one. Yeah, kind of, I guess. All right. It kind of. We'll see. Kristen, how's it going? <laughs> it's good. I'm here at River Skate right down at Clad Adams Park and with me now is Marion and she is one of the owners of River Skate. What is so unique about this ice rink? Well, River Skate is special because you can skate on it anywhere, anytime, in any weather. So whether it's minus 30 or whether it's 90 degrees, you can come out here and skate and have a great time. The ice is also unique because it's more conducive to beginners. So if you've never skated before, it's the perfect surface to get out and, and test it and, and really find your skating length. It's not really ice, right? Right. It's a synthetic, it's, excuse me, it's a synthetic polymer. And when you skate over it, the blade creates the friction, which releases an oil and allows you to go. Mm -hmm. And you're actually saying that some like professional skaters have this in their basement. Yes, lots of professional figure skaters and hockey skaters have these in their basements. They train on them in the off season. It forces you to skate with good form, and so it helps them be more powerful skaters. So if there's any aspiring figure <laughs> skaters out there, come on down. Well, I'm going to attempt to be maybe not an, an, a professional figure skater, but I am going to learn the basics, and it, this is pretty good uh, kind of material for beginners. Yes, it's perfect for beginners. This is the, the perfect thing to come out and, and do and, like I said, find your skating legs. And you said that the, the ground is almost a little bit conducive to uh, gymnastics floor? Yeah, it's a little bit softer. It's not, um, it doesn't have that hard smack when you fall because it is built on a platform and then underneath that's the rubber underlayment. So it has a nice bounce to it if you do happen to slip and fall. Well, that is great news for me because coming up later in the show, Marion's going to show me a few moves and get me out on the actual ice rink. So I probably will fall. So it's good to know that I can bounce right back up. Assuming she won't do any triple sow cows or toe pick loop. Probably not. Toe touch. But here he was out and about in downtown Quincy today. Yeah, how's it going, Kristen? Yep, I am here at River Skate near Clad Adams Park, and with me now is Marion Dye, who is one of the owners of River Skate. And we're talking a little bit about your unique ice rink. And it's not um, real ice, it's actually synthetic. Yes, it's a synthetic ice, it's plastic, um, it's a really expensive polymer that you skate on that allows you to skate anytime in any mm -hmm. weather. And it's perfect for beginners, you were saying, which is perfect for me because I have not skated since I was probably 12. So we also we have some special skates here that are also good for beginners. Yes, these are hockey skates. Um, they're ideal for beginners. They provide more support um, and they help you learn to start, but you're also welcome to bring your own skates and we sharpen those for you. Mm -hmm. And so I have traded in my boots for actual some, some skates. My cameraman is um, reminding me not to fall until I get on the ice, so I'm trying my best to balance here. <laughs> and why is it so um, easier for people to kind of learn on this synthetic ice with these skates? It's easier because it's not as slippery as regular ice um, so you have to work a little bit more the glide is a little bit less but it's perfect for beginners that allows you to really uh, find the perfect skating form mm -hmm. and so this ice ring is great like we're saying beginners but it is a little bit of a drawback for you and your husband who own river skate because you guys are saying you have to sharpen these all the time <laughs> yes you don't have to sharpen the skates more so <laughs> but that's okay we keep them nice and sharp for you and we're also saying that Professionals actually have this ring, these rinks in, in their basements. Yeah, absolutely. Professional figure skaters and hockey skaters, they train on these in their off season. It makes them better, more powerful skaters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so coming up later in the show, Marion is actually going to give me some lessons. There, River Skate is going to be offering those coming up in January. So coming up a little bit later, I'm going to get out on the ice rink and learn how to skate. A little nervous. She's a brave jealous. soul. To, to do, do that it on, on TV. TV. Mm -hmm. I might, I feel like my Kristen oh. Aguirre is learning how to ice skate this morning. Yeah, Kristen, how's it going? Yes, I am here at River Skate and it is going good. I'm a little bit nervous because I am actually got my skates on and I am ready to get out on the rink. So, Marion, what do we need to do here? So, when you begin, you want to start with little shuffle steps to begin. Okay. So, you don't want to start just going. You want to start with little shuffles just like this. Just start shuffling. This little, is a, yep. Little shuffles, just like that. Yep. 
this is the exact pace I want to go. Yep. Barely snail And then you're going to want to do this a couple of times back and forth over the rink. Okay. To get your bearings and everything. So it's just little tiny walks, little tiny shuffles. And then when you get to the end, you turn around. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and then you go back. Now, if you feel like you're going to fall, you don't want to go out here. You want to come down to a little squat, put your hands on your knees. It's going to keep you from falling. Mm -hmm. So that's important. And then you're just going to work on these. Now, as you get better, you can start working on the push off. So don't start that yet because I don't think you're... Oh, there I'm, you not, I'm not up to that level but yet. But you're going to start with the push and bring in. But you want to start with the first just the little shuffles. Little shuffles, and that'll get you across the ring, get you where you're going. And uh, that's the beginning. That's the first step is the little shuffles. And just working with that, working with that. And in no time, in about a few minutes, you'll be up around doing and it. And your husband was um, actually taking me out here before, and he said to cup your fingers mm -hmm. just in case and then to have your hands like this. Yes, yeah, hands out in front mm -hmm. to start. That helps with your balance, helps keep you from flailing in the back. And so you and your husband are actually like really entrepreneurs because you guys kind of started this all up yourself and decided what to bring it here. So what made you guys bring this here? Well, we um, used to live in Colorado, and we just fell in love with all things winter out there, from skiing to ice skating um, to snowshoeing even. And we wanted to bring a little piece of Colorado back here to the Midwest. All right. Well, coming up later in the show, I'm going to continue my skating lesson, and then Marion and I are going to get out on the rink, and I may race her. I'm hoping. Every day she's shuffling. <laughs> dun, 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 uh, dun, whenever dun. she races the expert, it always goes so well. Too. I can't Gary getting out on the ice rink this morning. Yeah, Kristen, how's it going? Yep, I am here at River Skate skating, and Earlier, I got a nice little lesson on how to skate on this rink, and I said I wanted to race Miriam, but she said no, because I am going to fall, so we're going to keep it safe and undo it, but our cameraman, Mark, has skates on, and we are going to race each other, so make sure you check it out on YouTube. It's going to be the Kristen and Mark skate off, and he's going down, but right now, we're just going to take a nice casual lap around the rink. And so we were saying that this is such a unique rink and um, because it's synthetic, it's not real ice, um, but it feels, it definitely feels like real ice, but it's a little bit um, harder to skate, not harder, but because it's that yeah. resistance. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a little bit less glide, um, but like I said, that makes it perfect for beginners and it teaches you proper form from the start, which is really important. And I was saying, when you're out on the rink and you look down, um, they almost look like puzzle pieces. Yeah, the puzzle piece design um, was created to keep the rink from popping up. Mm -hmm. um, as the temperature changes, like we said, you can skate on it in minus 30 and, uh, and uh, in 90 degree temperatures. So the swing, it handles the swing well because of the puzzle piece design. Mm -hmm. Without that, it might pop up or you might see um, places where it's popped and this keeps it all nice and flat mm -hmm. and so what was one of the reasons that you guys decided to come back home to Quincy because you and your husband are from it and to, to bring this rink back here well family family was our chief reason to be back here I mean we loved living in Colorado and it was beautiful but our family's here our home is here and we truly feel like Quincy is our home so mm -hmm. we had to come home to be here with um, our family and our friends and we love Quincy it's a beautiful town <laughs> and perfect place to raise kids and you you guys have been packed basically since our opening. Yeah, it's been really steady. We've had a lot of people come out. Everybody's had a great time. We have a lot of uh, dedicated regulars that are here skating all the time. So it's great. We love it. And I have hockey skates on, but you have regular skates on. Yeah, these are my figure skates, and um, we don't have these for rental. But if you have figure skates, you're more than welcome to bring them down. We'll sharpen them if need be, and they work just the same. All right, well, I'm going to continue skating, and hopefully I will get better. And make sure you check out that YouTube video because Mark is going down in our race. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Today. Yeah, I wonder how it's going. Kristen, what's going on? Yep, I am here at River Skate um, Ice Rink here at Clad Adams Park. But it's called River Skate for a reason. Look at how beautiful this view is. We weren't able to see a little bit earlier in the show because it was so dark out still. Is this the kind of the idea you guys had in mind when you picked the name and the location? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we kind of wanted to evoke those old feelings of skating on the river, maybe like some people had the opportunity to do back when they flooded Barry Ann. So we really wanted people to have that beautiful experience. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Down it here. is so beautiful. I'm going to Instagram some pictures, so make sure you check that out. Also, you guys have some tips for skaters. There's an actual time you guys said you can come out to see the sunset and it looks gorgeous. Yes, right now um, with the time frame is perfect between 4.30 and 5 is the perfect time to come down. The sunset's beautiful. The last couple of nights it's been purple and blue. 
perfect time to come down on a little date night. Oh, <laughs> and then you also said for some skaters, what um, some tips do we have for their skates? Yeah, um, make sure you wear long socks. Um, the more fluffy and comfortable, the better. Um, it just helps um, with your comfort skating. Also, if you're under 18, please be aware that you do need to sign a waiver. Um, you need to have a parent or a guardian come down and sign a waiver for you. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. And for people who are kind of like me, haven't got on, got on the rink in a while, or even some kids that are just beginners, you guys are going to be offering some training. Yes, we offer free mini lessons, um, and that's every day, any time. All you have to do is ask. And then in January and February with the Park District, we're going to be offering uh, lessons, um, and they're going to be on Saturday morning. So if you want to sign up for that, you can go to the Park District's website, and there, um, I think registration has already started for those, and that's for children. And so one of the best things that I heard all morning was that this is a really good workout. Yeah. Yes, this is an awesome <laughs> workout. Um, it's so good to keep you healthy and in shape. So, yeah, if you're looking for something to do to, to burn off some of those holiday calories, this is a perfect place to be. How many calories do you burn if you skate for an hour? Um, anywhere between um, 500 and 800, depending on how vigorously you skate. So, How many how many calories do you think I burned today? Um, I think we're a solid 250 right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to burn even some more calories when I race our cameraman, Mark. So make sure you check out our YouTube video to see who was victorious in that battle. And I think it's going to be me. <laughs> she, it looks like she's improving.